Do you also wonder why rents are increasing rapidly in Berlin and other cities in Germany? Over the last decades, big investors, private entrepreneurs and real estate companies, sometimes from abroad, have been buying up flats and houses in Berlin. In 2019, 1,970,000 housing units were distributed as follows. While the state of Berlin owned a good 325,000 flats, cooperatives and non-profit associations owned around 220,000. A good 305,000 homeowners lived in their own four walls, and 320,000 units belonged to small-scale private owners. That is to say, they owned up to five flats. In contrast, there were the large-scale private owners with 470,000 units and the financial market sector with 330,000 units. It is true that cooperatives generate returns just like private owners and real estate companies. However, it does make a great difference whether the returns are used for the flats and tenants, like for renovations, as is often the case with cooperatives, or whether returns are used solely to maximize profits, thereby neglecting the quality of housing and tenants. The latter corresponds with the business strategies of some large investors and real estate companies. They even go so far as to appropriate even larger parts of the city through so-called share deals and other tax tricks. By setting up letterbox companies, they avoid tax levies that are urgently needed by the state of Berlin to build and maintain affordable housing. The anonymity of these big property owners gives them protection, makes it difficult to investigate them and keep them in check. Above all, their business practices target profit maximization, leading to increasing purchase prices of flats and houses. Among other things, this also leads to continuously increasing rents, regardless of the existing tenants' incomes, necessary renovations and repairs being postponed and houses falling into disrepair. Instead, buildings are unnecessarily being upgraded to luxury status or modernized for profit, while the costs are passed on to the tenants through the so-called modernization levy. Affordable housing being depreciated, misused for speculation and not given to those who need it the most. Why do we know so little about those who own such a large part of the city? A transparency register has been in place since 2020, which is supposed to record the true owners behind the real estate companies. However, the register does not deserve its name, yet. Only about one in four companies had complied with the obligation to register. The government has also been delaying a comprehensive control of the companies for more than three years. This leaves tenants who have helped shape their neighborhoods for years and decades to face anonymous landlords and their unfair business practices. Berlin is working on a rent register, i.e. a register of all rented units in Berlin and their rent levels. Nevertheless, change will only happen if political decisions are challenged through pressure from below, and Berliners are willing to change. For example, the initiative Deutsche Wohnen und Co. Enteignen is currently in its second stage and is collecting 250,000 votes in order to initiate a referendum in autumn and to move forward on a political level. The aim of this initiative Socialize housing if large housing companies with more than 3,000 units own it. 